Welcome to Bible Lands with Dan Cerns. Here we are at the city gates of Jerish, Jordan. Some of the ancient Roman gates that are here, you see three different gates, the large one and the smaller ones. And Roman citizens would be permitted to live within the Roman cities. But those who were not citizens would be able to go in for shopping and paying taxes and doing business, but they'd have to find a place to live outside the cities. This is one of the reasons why the Apostle Paul had that great significance that he was a Roman citizen. And there are times when he was being treated like a non-Roman citizen. And he said, wait a minute, I have this citizenship. And then the people were very afraid because they had been treating him in the wrong way. You see, citizenship had its privileges. But, Jesus, but Paul was impressed to write that we, our citizenship is not here on earth, but it is in heaven. And that is the key to living the Christian life, is to remember that while we're here on earth and we need to make a positive difference, we need to bless people, we need to build healthy relationships, every day we are looking forward to a heavenly city where we can enter in through the gates into the city, where we can reside there forever in the new Jerusalem because that's where our citizenship is. How do we get our citizenship in heaven? by accepting Jesus as our King of Kings and Lord of Lords in our mind and heart, allowing His kingdom to make its way into our heart. Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. When we wake up in the morning, we can say, Lord, I want you to be in charge of my life today. I want you to be King. I want you to rest on the throne in my mind so that the decisions I make are pleasing to you. And he will let us not only come and go here on earth, but we will know that someday soon we will be able to enter into those pearly gates in the new Jerusalem because we are citizens of heaven.